Amen. Amen and amen. Amen. David said, I was glad when they said unto me, yes, sir. let us go. We didn't go, but I was glad when they said it. I received an information that brought the transformation. Yes, sir. I didn't go yet. We didn't arrive. But when they gave me an information, it transformed me. Yes, sir. I was glad when they said, hit your neighbor say, are you glad to be here? Are you glad to be here? They didn't tell you you are here already. Say, are you glad? Glory. Say, I hear. I hear. I hear. I hear, I hear, I hear, I hear, I hear. This is the day. Sir, I left three services to be here. It is the day that the Lord. So there are days, but there is a day the Lord made. Talk to me, sir. Sir, there are days, but there is the day. I hear, sir. There are days, but there is the day I hear that the Lord made. Talk to me, sir. Speak to me, sir. Listen to me. You didn't make a mistake to be in the first service. Because if you miss the beginning, you endanger the remaining. If you miss the beginning, you endanger the remaining. The beginning lays the foundation for the remaining. And if the foundation be destroyed, what? The righteous. So whatever you are trying to do right ends wrong if you don't have a good foundation. Talk to me, sir. Speak to me. Because you came here first. First Amen. service. First service. First service. Are you aware? That when you give God the face, it makes the rest your best. I hear a sound. When you give God the first, he makes the rest your best. I speak to 50 of you. I hear my voice. Because you came to first service, may God satisfy you early. Amen. God of my oil, the God of my calling, the God of Cookie Joseph, satisfy you early. Amen. If your amen is the first, receive an early amen. Somebody say, I hear. I hear. Say, I hear. I hear. Say, I hear. I hear. I hear. I hear. Pick up your Bible, lift it up, say, This is my Bible. This is my Bible. Whether you have it on phone, tablets, whatever, pick up. Scriptures cannot be broken. Yes, sir. The word of God is a substance. Yes, sir. Every other thing is a supplement. I hear, sir. <laughs> Doctor, Lift it up. Say, This is my Bible. This is my Bible. See, heaven and earth will pass away. Visions may fail. Prophecies may fail. But the word of God, when you hold this one, you remain standing. Talk to me, sir. Lift it up. Say, this is my Bible. This is my Bible. I believe it's the word of God. I believe it's the word of God. I am who he says I am. I am who he says I am. I can do what he says I can. I can do what he says I can. I must have what he says I can. I must have what he says Please I can. Please say it better than your neighbor that did not come with the Bible. Say, this is my Bible. This is my Bible. I believe is the word of God. I believe is the word of God. I am who it says I am. I am who he says I am. I can do what he says I can. I can do what he says I, I can. must have what he says I will. I must have what he says so I will. Bless me God. So bless me God. If your heaven is the loudest, you'll be the first for the miracle. Malachi chapter 3 and verse 1. Sit down and let me talk to you, but Th you will stand in a moment. Dr. Mason. Malachi chapter 3 and verse 1. Thank you, Jesus. If you are in Malachi 3, say, I am there. I am there. If you are
you are still looking for me, say, wait for me. Wait for me. Not to do. <laughs> Be on the speed lane. Is everybody there? All right. If you don't have a good Bible, it's on the screen. I like for us to read it together with the blessings of our voice like a man's choir. Are you there? Please read very loud and clear if you went to school. Want to go? Behold, I will. Somebody say sin. Sin. Shout it well. Sin. Shout it well. Sin. Go ahead. My messenger. And he will prepare the way. Be, somebody shout way. Shout it well. Where? Where? Before me. Uh -huh. And the Lord. Whom you seek? Ask your neighbor. Who did you come to see? Somebody shout the Lord. Of the Lord. Somebody said the Lord. the Lord. And the Lord whom you seek, what happened? Shall suddenly come. Where? Shout awesome God ministries to his min to his what temple? Even what the messenger, the messenger of the covenant, whom you do what? Whom you do what? Delighted. Look at somebody said, Do you love Papa? Do you love Papa? Do you delight in Papa? Do you delight in Papa? Do you appreciate Papa? Do you, appreciate Do you admire Papa? Do you honor Papa? Do you honor Papa? Do you, honor Papa? Do you value Papa? Do you value Papa? Yes. And the Lord whom you seek, put the scripture on, will suddenly come to his temple. Even the messenger of the covenant whom you do what? Delighting. Let's read it again. Completed. Want to go? Behold, he shall come. Say it who? Say it who? Say it who? Please, you didn't say it well. Say it who? Say it who? Can we discuss? Anytime you see Lord of hosts, don't argue it. Anytime God speaks and you see host, don't argue it. It is older than your father and your grandfather and your eldest father. Whenever God speaks and he puts Lord of hosts, it's a generational matter, not a civilization matter. Anytime God speaks and he puts Lord of hosts, it means don't argue it. Don't analyze it. If you analyze it, you will paralyze it. Anytime God speaks and he says, Lord of hosts, it means that spirit, civilization cannot dilute spirituality. Ladies and gentlemen, hear me. Once God speaks and he swears by his name and he calls himself the Lord of hosts, please remove your edge. Drop your title, drop your qualification, drop your certificate, drop what you were told because what he is saying is what your finite mind cannot comprehend this infinite mind. There are things that God say and you look at the social media today and people are playing with it. Tight. How can we pay tight? So sin. How can we say they didn't go to skip to say God said? Can I ask you a question? Who was the part the father of Abel? Who was the pastor of Abel? Who was the bishop of Abel? But Abel knew that from time the first fruit has to be given. The Bible says that Cain gave the fattest. Abel gave the firstling. God is not looking for the fattest. The requirement is what brings the result. God was looking for the firstling. And Bible says God had honor and respected the offering of Abel. Who taught Abel first fruit? Who taught Abraham died? Who was his pastor? There are certain things that you don't fight because when God spoke, he spoke them before you existed. The New Testament does not have capacity, ability, capability to stop them. Can I talk to adults here? Yes.
yes. Say it, the Lord Abu. is enough statement to humble you. Drop your title. Drop your certificate that's not giving you satisfaction. Drop your beauty that has not even helped you. When you hear the Lord of hosts, drop your makeup. It has not taken you up. When you hear the Lord of hosts, drop your popularity. You are popular without properties. Let's help your life. You cannot be more born again than Jesus who was referring to the things that Isaiah said because God quoted them with the Lord of hosts. You can't be. That is why you are born again and you are suffering again. There are things you don't play with. There are statements God says you don't play with. I, the Lord, I swear, if God swears, who are thou? these pastors, all these pastors that is how Elijah or Elijah said tomorrow about this time the prices of things will drop the economy will be stable after three and a half years of time somebody stood up the Bible said the Lord whom the kings had leaned on meaning the special advisor to the king on economic matters said it's not possible even if God opens the windows of heaven it cannot happen Elisha looked at him and said to him you will see it with your eye but you will not partake of it you can't eat of it why can all this why should pastors be putting their mouths in politics why can't he go to church and preach why is he putting his mouth in economic matters Ladies and gentlemen, the moment you argue and analyze prophecy, you paralyze it. Say I hear. I hear, sir. Say I hear. I hear, sir. Say I hear, hear. I hear, hear. First step service, are you here? First service, are you here? Say it, the Lord of us. I will send. Put the scripture on. Malachi chapter 3 verse 1. I will send my Zazia, Azia, Anna, Afiada, Atuya. I will send my messenger. He shall prepare the way, not behind me, before him. Ladies and gentlemen, when you look down on the messenger, you look down on God. <laughs> Can I talk to all them? I will send. Men are born. Few of us are sent. <laughs> there is something you are not aware of. Everybody may be born, but not all were born alone. Unto us a child. Unto us a son. Some of us are given. We are not born. I will send. So you are wrong to say today is Joseph Cookie's birthday. He was not born. Today is his saint's day. You are, not, you are not with me. I need to talk to people who understand what I'm saying. If you think today is his birthday, you were following uh, uh, philosophy, you were following articulations of English, but your, your understanding of spirituality is not a bad day, it's a saint's day. I will say, the man was not born, the man was sent. Dr. Mason. The man was not born, he was given. Purpose precedes creation. Purpose is the original intent in the mind of the creator for the manu manufacturing of the property. So before the creator creates the product, he had an intention in his mind. So he had purpose before creation. Koki was not born. 
he was sent. Koki was not born, he was given to a generation. Everybody is not a body. Everybody is not. No, we pastor. No, no, we pastor. Every we are calling him pastor to let the world accept a profession. He's not a pastor. He's a saint man. He's not an apostle. He's a saint man. He's not your papa. He's a saint man. All the words we are using is to accommodate profession and career so that you can be able to accept whatever was given to him to give to you. But on a spiritual intellect, he is a saint man. He is not who he did. Today is not his birthday. Today is his what? Today is what? Today is what? Today is what? Sunday. Then we understand God. The problem we have with God is that we know the name of God. We know the name of the church. We are aware of the name of the pastor, but we don't know how God functions. We don't know how God works. We are not aware of his functionality. We are not aware of, of his of productivity. We are not aware of his operationality. We are not aware of the way God behaves. God sends before he appears. The problem with the church is that we are not aware. We know how to pray. We know how to shake our head. We know how to lie down. But we don't know how God answers. Africa, we can pray. Let Corona come. We'll corrupt it. We know how to pray. Am I talking? See, you are talking. Can I tell you, so long, the solution to coronavirus is lack of fear. Lack fear. Scarcity of fear pursues him. Coronavirus is a setup. It's not even a spirit. You are not aware. We are not human beings. So ye are gods. And the children of the mother. But he said you will die like ordinary men when you don't know. Who don't they drive this car since now? Who don't they drive the car since? Where the sickness of the car come? You cannot have a saint man and be frustrated. You cannot have a saint man and be limited. You cannot have a saint man and be abandoned. You cannot have a blind man and be incapacitated. I speak to 120 of you. Under the sound of my voice. From today, operate on the grace of your saint man. Move by the grace of your saints, man. Let your say, oh God. Oh God. I honor my saints, man. I honor my saints, man. Sir, here. I hear. Sir, I hear. I hear. Sit down. Don't, don't put me under pressure. I will send the messenger of my covenant. Hear me, child of God. Before the arrival of God to a person, before the arrival of God to a family, before the visitation of God to a nation, to a community, God's messenger with the covenant of God must first appear. I will say to ignore the messenger is to ignore the sender. Manifestation. That's right. You saw a man of God. You were not blessed. That was why service ended. Your problem did not end. Because all you saw was a man of God. And you didn't have perception. So you missed the God of the man. 
I will send a messenger. The messenger of my covenant. He will prepare the way before me. Before God arrives to a family. Before God arrives to a nation. Before the visitation of God to a community. The messenger that carries the message of God. The covenant message of God must first appear. Please, don't let civilization dilute this principle. God is not a man. God is not a man. God cannot do anything on the earth without a man. Spirituality must be in collaboration with humanity to function here. If you are looking for God, you can't find God. You will see a man. If you are looking for Satan, Satan is not a man. He's a spirit. You can't find Satan. You will see men representing Satan. He's not even your mate. Satan appeared only three times in the Bible. Everything you are calling Satan is a man. Everything you are saying is a man, not Satan. The person sitting on your side may be a very small girl. It's a man. Men are the representations of spirits. Men are the accommodation of spirits. Spirits don't function on the head until they find an accommodation, a physical accommodation to express themselves. That is why you must be careful when your wife talks to you. Men are the accommodations of spirits. Jesus was talking to Peter. Whom do men say I am? Everybody and disciple answered, you are Elisha, you are Elijah, you are Jeremiah. Jesus was disappointed. He said, whom do you say I am? And they began, the group, nobody could talk. Only Peter said, thou art Jesus, the son of God. Jesus looked at Peter. If there's anybody that should answer that question, it should be John. If there's anybody that should answer that question, it should be James, the scholar. Not you, a non-entity and a fisherman. But I know you are not the one answering. Somebody gave you the aspect. It's the spirit of my father. Flesh and blood did not reveal this to you, but my heavenly father. So at that point, Peter was possessed by a spirit because his body was available. Sir, don't be excited. Check the next chapter. Jesus is talking to Peter. Peter replied. Jesus talked. The next time Peter replied, Jesus said, Get you behind me, Satan. The same body that God possesses is the same body that Satan used. Relax, spirits walk by the expressions of a ready body on the earth. So I know when my wife is talking, hello, hon. I know when another spirit is trying to express itself. So I enter the car and I drive out because if you answer that spirit, you will settle next month. You should know when a person is talking. I should know when another spirit is trying to express itself through the person. Sir, I hear. Sir, I hear. I hear. Sir, I hear. I hear. I hear. The reason why it's called Planet 8, it means Plan Network 8. Nothing works on 8 without networking and plan. If you don't have a plan, the 8 has nothing to give to you. And without networking, ladies and gentlemen, you are wasted. I'm telling you, you are walking in confusion. You are perplexed. You are in synchronized. To confusion. I'm telling you the truth. The earth has nothing for you until you have a plan. And you, sir, a female giraffe cannot turn a lion on. Lion to lioness. Goat to goat. Dog to... Because everything works on earth according to plan. And according to networking, man to man, God to a man, every man needs another man. Everything on earth works by networking. So God needs a man to operate here. Satan 
needs a man to operate here. And God wants to bless you, he will send a man. Satan wants to bring you down, he will send men. You can't see Satan, it's not a man. You can cast out tables. Satan doesn't have play anyhow. No, not Satan. You can cast out tables. You can cast out demons. Not Satan. Everything on earth works according to networking. There are men that are born. There are men that are saved. Not every of your friend is a friend. Some are enemies. We call them frenemies. Oh. Why are they my friends? They were sent. They're on a mission. That is why they are fine. That is why they are nice. They're on a mission. That is why they give you provision to commission your mission. Because they are on a mission to fulfill their vision. <laughs> Not every man was born. Some were sent. You must be able to separate those that were sent and those that are born. I'm talking to adults. That we sing in the same choir does not make us all of us mortals. No matter how good we are, there's somebody that will say, Can I say something? In the same group, in the same choir, someone said, Observation. She must always oppose something. She said, Judas did not become a thief because the devil said, and the devil entered him. Satan entered. No, Judas was a thief before Satan entered. Judas was already a thief before Satan entered him. Because Satan needs a thief's body to enter. And in case you are not aware, it's not one of the disciples that Jesus chose. Judas was a childhood friend of Jesus. The most trusted became the treasurer. Whoever is doing it is closer to you. Whoever is doing you is an insider. Somebody say a man. A man. That is why you need to locate your saint man to dislocate any evil saint man. It's important. I will send the messenger. He carries a message that massages your destiny. To prepare the can't I come? God says I can come, but I need a man to prepare the way. To prepare the way. This is how God works. We have a problem in church. We know how to pray. We know how to fast. We know how to kabash. We know how to sow seed. But we don't know how God answers. He answers by sending a messenger. We are not aware. We are not aware. The world was messed up. Noah, God sent Noah to announce to his generation to come to God. 120 years he announced, they did not believe him. All they saw was a human being who was drinking. And in case you are not aware, no messenger is a perfect man. He's only a chosen man. You see, there's a lot of things about pastors. Because when you look at the pastor, no, he should not drink. No, he should not do this. Oh, he should not do that. No messenger. I am not justifying sin. But I'm telling you, no messenger is a perfect man. We are not looking for perfect fathers. We are looking for real fathers. You see the problem we have in our families and in the world today? We don't have real fathers. Everybody's father took face in school. <laughs> Meanwhile, you have a son who is waiting to hear when you failed so that your mistake can be his correction. 
don't talk to sons. They are too quiet. Mothers are talking to daughters. Wake up. Wake up. Go and boil the water. Go and, is this how you're building your husband's house? Stand up. Fathers to sons. You can sit to your father in a car till you reach your destination. He didn't open his mouth. Meanwhile, there are many questions in your heart to ask him. You can't ask him. And there are many things he would have told you. Things like, hey, son, they let the first woman you sleep with be your wife. Because if you sleep with one woman, you have not left her. When you move to the other woman, she's a part of you. You will see the day you meet her, even 15 years after, it will be like yesterday. Because a part of you is in her. And by the time he's telling you, you have slept with 15. There are many questions. Daddy, there are so many pictures here. Look at your wedding picture with mommy. How can you be this? Look at how you were smiling. Look at how you were kissing mommy. How come? I have a stepbrother. How did a stepbrother come? So many questions in your heart you cannot ask. Why? Because the world is growing up with, with silent fathers. And the devil is smart enough to take sons and make them be close to mothers and take daughters to be close to father. If your mother raised you, who will you become? A mother does not have the capacity to raise a son, out a man out of a son. A father does not have the capability to raise a woman out of a daughter. So Satan has changed the equation. Daughters close to father, son close to mother. And you are happy. My daughter, she made a joke with me. I know a joke with my daughter. You are happy. Look for your son. <laughs> Mothers pamper sons. Break their masculinity into women. So you see a boy who is supposed to be a man. At 40 years, he's still a boy. Because his mother pampered him. Age is nothing but a number. It's not age that displays maturity. It's responsibility that brings maturity. You can have a 40-year-old child and a 17-year-old 17-year-old man. Kick your leg on the stone. Pam! Mother will say, ah! Who kept this stone? Who kept this stone? You want to finish my sons? You're looking for who kept it. Mothers cannot train sons. But it's a real father will say, Why? Don't cry, son. Don't cry. Who did you kick your head? Yeah? Beat it. Beat that thing. Beat it. Beat it. Because long after the pain is gone, let your masculinity not die. Beat the man. Unto us a child is born. Unto us a son. Israel was to come out of captivity. How did God reply them? God sent a man. Whoever did not listen to Moses and put the blood on the lintel died. God sent a man, not a perfect man. In fact, if you are looking for educational qualification, Moses was a stammerer. How can he speak English? Jesus was to be born. A man was sent to announce. Jesus is God in flesh. He was born I am Jesus, but yet my ministry cannot be established on earth until I submit to a man because submission is what sponsors your mission. I'm trying to help you. John the Baptist says, I am not worthy. Jesus said, Live worthy thing. It is righteous. Do it for it is right. He lowered his head. Baptize me. You don't have the right to baptize me as a son of God, but if I'm in flesh and blood, I have to submit to you. You must understand it. Nobody has the kind of salvation that Paul, former Saul, received. If I had the kind of salvation that Saul received, I would not be a member of any church. If I had the kind of encounter that Saul had, I would open church. Member, for what now? Jesus appeared to Saul on his way. Bam! A light fell on him. 
He was blind. He fell down from the horse, hit the ground, and he was blind. He woke up and said, Who will you be? And Jesus gave him introduction, but yet there was no intuition. I am Jesus, whom thou persecuted. After they eat, nobody introduced him to Jesus. Jesus appeared to him and introduced himself. That kind of salvation, you don't need a pastor. When you wake up, say, I've seen the Lord. You don't need a church, you don't need Sunday school. But after introduction, he said, Go into the city, you will meet a man. He will tell you all things. Spirits don't tell you all things. Men. Men. You will make them man. Am I talking in this house? Yes, sir. Am I preaching in this house? Yes, sir. Go into the city. You will meet a man. Ladies and gentlemen, I will send a man, a messenger of the covenant. He will prepare the way. The reason why your family has never received the visitation of God this season is because you have not recognized a man that should prepare the way. You are looking for God. You can't find God. God prophesied to Abraham. You will have a child. Not child. You will be father of many nations. The man was old. He didn't see any child. You are still waiting for God. A day before God is a thousand years. A thousand years is like a day. You go old. God does not live in time. He only operates in time when men may invite him. God lives in eternity. Eternity means outside time. So when they try to compare eternity to time, they say a day before God. It's like a thousand years. I've never seen anybody who is 1,000 years old. Today is my 1,000 years old birthday. You go die. When do you want to marry? God's time is the best. You go old. How can you be talking about God's time when you don't know his clock? Have you ever seen his clock? God does not operate on Kronos time. God does not operate on natural time. 8 o'clock, after it's 9 o'clock, after it's 10 o'clock, after 11. They, Mary had to look to Jesus and say, Hey, wine is finished. I know you. This boy, I know how I take upon you. Your papa no touch me. I know you can do something. Say, woman, leave me alone for it is not yet. <laughs> I don't want to preach mysteries. No, I don't want to preach. I don't want to talk mysteries. You go old. Calendar is changing. Your status did not change. 2019 increased to 2020. Your bank account is decreasing. Because you are waiting for God in time. You will be father of many nations. God prophesied eight prophecies on Abraham. The man was old. He didn't see one. Blessed shall you be. I will bless them that bless you. Cause them that bless that curse you. And you'll be father of many nations. I will increase thy seed like the sun in the seashore. For where is barren, dumb, impotent, and does not see one child. When God looked at Abraham, anything God says in eternity cannot operate in time until a man says it. Please understand. I will send. God does not work in time. God lied to me. Where did he speak it from? If he spoke in eternity, it will happen after your funeral. It will happen. God does not lie. If he spoke in eternity, it's after your funeral. There is no time, no calendar. I will bless you. God prophesied to Abraham. Ladies and gentlemen, no time, no date. Abraham was hundred. God has never spoken with time before. Check the Bible. Please, all the chronicles writers of scriptures from Genesis to Revelation never ever said anything that God said with time. If he said anything, the highest he can tell you is a generation to come. He's a God of generation to a thousand generations by this time. Anytime he hate time, it was a man that said it. 
somebody's wedding date now. Look at you, you are waiting for God. I have appeared, you are waiting for God. Until God saw Abraham was going to die. Do you know what God did? This man will be richer. God prophesied to him. He didn't work. He was still poor. Broke in the land of all. All is in Iraq. In case you are not aware, Abraham grew up in Iraq. His father was there. <laughs> Sit here. When I come to awesome God, I talk to you like I'm talking in my church. This is not how I preach outside. For those of you who are following me on YouTube, you don't know. You see, I don't preach like this. Here, I talk. We tell ourselves the truth. Outside, I impress. Here, I talk. It's family. Outside, I impress. So they can call me again. <laughs> Why are you laughing? You have your profession. I have my profession. Here is family. Outside is customers. I speak to 120 of you. Amen. If I am an apostle and cookie is a prophet, Amen. 24 hours from now, Amen. what you cannot get by qualification, take it down by grace. Amen. My name is Apostle Toretefia. I know what I'm talking. Sit down, let me open your eye. Open. Abraham was old. No, no, this is not prophecy from Cookie. This is prophecy from the mouth of God. None came to pass. The man was 100 years when God see. And as far as God is concerned, he's still a baby. A, a day before God. 100 years, you are, still a, you are still a baby. God said, Abraham will die without seeing my words. So I need to appear to Abraham. He does not have a time. And I said he would possess nations. Ladies and gentlemen, God had to come in a man form to say what he said in eternity in reality. Because if a man does not declare what God has pronounced, my dear, you go old. A saint man, the work of a pastor is to give timing to what God said in eternity. That's my message. The work of your pastor is to give time, calendar, to what your God has said in eternity where there is no time. So God came as a man. And the man God came with, no birthday, no dying day, Melchizedek, no family, but he's a man. Bible did not give us his history. And then he walked in the earth. When Abraham saw a man that represented God, Abraham paid tithes to him. Abraham sowed seed to him. And he fed Abraham with communion. And then he said, Blessed be Abraham. He pronounced everything that God said to Abraham in eternity. I want to save God for myself. I can hear God now. I don't need any church. Sir, you will hear God and die in your house until a man talks to you. Don't worry. Online service. Corona cannot close church. There are people that are supposed to be here, but because of Corona, they didn't come. Now we know who members are. The difference between members and numbers. Melchizedek came and he pronounced what God said in eternity. A man said it in time. Ladies and gentlemen, Abraham became. Because a man spoke in time what God said in eternity. But Abraham was still barren. Oh, no child. 
Now he has possessed seven nations. He has had riches. He has gold. His enemies became his friends. He's, he, had, he is a civilian. He had army. But yet no child. He complained to God. Will my servant Eliezer possess my inheritance? God said, no. We use the same formula. Ladies and gentlemen, how did God come to him a child? God came by three men. You call them angels. Angels do not eat physical food. Angels do not drink physical drink. As they were coming to Sodom, Abraham saw and said, Hey! I perceive these are holy men of God. Look at his statement. These are not angels. These are holy men of God. Many men that come in the likeness, God that came in the likeness of men. Please, you must understand. There are people that are not born. They were sent. When Abraham located the three of them, how did God come? Why were they three? Because, you see, at this point, Sarah has left menopause to menostop. Abraham's body metabolism had died. 100 years. You cannot bear a child. Biology fell. Chemistry fell. Everything humanistic died. So God didn't come as one. Like a said, God had to come as three. God the Father. God the Son. God the Holy Ghost. And they were walking. Abraham said, Hey! I have seen God. Your problem is per perception. All you see is cookie. You didn't see God. That is why the sickness is still with you. Newcomers came and saw God in a man and are testifying. You are only a hearer. By the time he saw, he said, come to my house. He brought sacrifice. Dead! Sarah, cook, they ate. Bring wine, they drank. After they said, where is thy wife, Sarah? There are they by this time, next year. That was the first time, time was mentioned. Excuse me, I don't care what is tautology. That was the first time time was mentioned to that prophecy. And the Bible said, and Sarah laughed. You know why? You know why? God talked straight to my, my husband. And it didn't come to pass. You see these hungry men that we feed? You are not aware. <laughs> Is it this man that I give money to? Is it this man that I fed? God talks to my husband straight as God. You see these ordinary men that we have given food? Ladies and gentlemen, look at me. Your problem is your education. And your education is your limitation. She laughed. But did it come to pass? Did it come to pass? Yes, sir. Did it come to pass? Yes, sir. A woman without breast, breastfeeded a baby. Because God spoke through a man. I will send the messenger of my covenant to prepare the way before me. He said, and the God whom you, who did you come to see today? Who did you come to meet today? Who did you come to seek today? God. And the God whom you seek shall suddenly come to his temple. Check that scripture. So God is more ready to arrive than you pray. God came here before service started. You saw God and did not see God in a man. So you left with your problem. They shared the grace. You went with his grace. Because you met God but could not recognize God in a man. God cannot appear. The day God decided to appear the way he is, Israel was angry. Moses! We have covered our face. Tell him to go back to the mountain. You go and deal with him. We won't die young. Only his back. Only his back. Only his back. God, I will not appear like that again. I will be sending men. Now you have seen men. You can't recognize God. They saw Jesus eating and drinking. They say, He's a drunkard. He's a glutton. Jesus said, John the Baptist came. He did not eat. He did not drink. 
They say he does not drink. He does not eat. Now I have come. Eating and drinking. They say I'm a glutton. I'm a drunkard. When will you stop talking? <laughs> Talk to me, sir. The God that you seek will suddenly come to his temple. How? Even the messenger of the covenant whom thou delight in. Put the scripture, let them see it. Whom you delight in shall suddenly come, saith the Lord. The messenger of the covenant whom you delight in. You don't like his English. Delight in him. You will see God. You are more educated than he is. Mm -mm, it's okay. But just delight in him. I have heard people say, take the message. Forget the messenger. Me, I just come to church. I collect the word. It's not about the preacher. It's about the word. You can't be blessed by the message beyond the way you receive, perceive, and honor the messenger. The content is not productive to you until you accept the container. The messenger of the covenant whom you delight in, you know his weakness, delight in him. You know his mistakes, delight in him. God has never chosen a perfect man before. David was not perfect. God said you are a man after my own heart. That's a man who killed a man, another man, to sleep with the wife. We never see that kind of pastor yet. Look at the wife. Every day we we'll climb up and watch when the woman is batting. For 14 days, David was watching a woman naked. The only way I can get this woman is to kill the husband. And the husband was the captain of Israel. I don't mind making Israel go into danger and lose and captivity. I just want to collect that thing. He said, put Uriah in the forefront of the battle. Redraw the men of war that he may die. And a man who has not lost 40 battles died because of a wrong positioning. And because a man wanted his wife, when he died, David took the wife, slept with her only once. You can judge David. Though. You can judge David. Prophet Nathan came and said to David, Hey! Hey, baby, we can tell you. I share Mama Kondo, Seri Mama Santa. David, my king. Something is happening in your land. David said, what is that? He said, a man in this land left all of his products and went to another man's house who had only one and carried it to entertain his visitors. David said, in this same city, in this same nation I'm ruling, God punished that man. Left four of his Product be given to the man that didn't have. That is how four sons of David died. When they died, David knew he was talking. That time, look at David and say, Oh, long live the king. You are the one. But because you are pronouncing, so it be. When four sons died, David ran to God and knelt down and prayed. God woke up the next chapter and said, David, you are a man. Please don't be the judge because those you expect to see in hell will be waiting for you in heaven. Leave God, leave God and the men he chose. Pastor, pastor, pastor. My dear, if you were better, you wouldn't be a member. You would have been the pastor. But God has flashed a camera on you and saw that you are not better. Chose a man. Can I talk in? Can I be talking here? Yes, sir. I'm, I may not be making sense. You are making sense. But I'm making somebody. You are making sense, sir. When you look at the weakness and the frailty of a man and judge him, you are judging God. God does not choose the qualified. He qualifies who he chooses. How many 
many school did Moses go? He can't even speak English. A stammerer, racist divide. If you don't listen to Moses, you won't come out. Not everybody that came out were Israelite. Check the scripture. The Bible says some of them were mixed multitude. They only obeyed a man they saw God inside. And they came up with it. They were not Israelites. The Bible called them the mixed multitude. Am I talking to somebody? Yes, sir. Please listen to me. Cookie is not a man. Cookie is a God. Your problem is that you see him in Jinda. There was a man called John. But this John is not that the rest. Sent. Jesus is not the only one carrying that name. Oh. In case you are not aware, there is Jesus of Ecoli Bene. There is a footballer called Jesus. Go on Facebook and type Jesus. People are naming themselves Jesus. Not because they are Christians. It's a name in the Jewish religion. Go and check it. That is why they call him Jesus Christ. Christ means the anointed one. They put the son of the living God. We need to specify this particular Jesus outside other Jesuses. Because this one, this one, God loved the world and he gave him. I pity mama because she didn't marry a husband. She married a spirit. If you try, go and marry a pastor. Let's see. For one month, you come back with your testimony. Marry a pastor for one month. Come back. You will know you marry the spirit. Am I talking here? Yes, sir. Am I talking to somebody? Here? Yes, sir. Am I talking to somebody? Here? Yes, sir. To miss the man is to miss the message. The messenger of the covenant whom you delight in. Pastor Tonya, all you need to do is delight in him. He can't speak English, delight. Your work is delight. You, you, I don't know why you're not putting that scripture here. Malachi 3 1. Leave my face, I'm on satellite. Put scripture. Malachi 3 verse 1. The messenger of the covenant whom do you? He lights in. Papa slapped me. Eh? Is it you he slap? Fall under anointing, oh. Let his slap be an impartation. He slap you and you were standing and you angry. If he slaps you, you should fall under anointing. He shouted at you. My dear, that is popularity. Look for a way to get his attention. He doesn't pick my call. He doesn't pick my call. Anytime I call him, he'll be quarreling me. Papa is biased. Papa is biased. Papa is biased. He does not pick my call. Anytime, he'll be embarrassing me. Your saint man embarrass you and you did not enter politics. <laughs> he singled you out and embarrassed you. You didn't do election. A woman said, if this man can raise the dead, heal the sick, open blind eyes, dumb talk, deaf hear, cripple walk, this is my issue of blood, not toy. I don't need counseling. I don't need to talk to him. I don't even need to touch him. Let me touch what has touched him. Perception. If I touch the hem of his garment, the man woman talked to herself and told herself what she would do and told herself what will happen. She did it and collected it without the consent of the man. I don't need him to I don't need him to prophesy. It's just like you can Papa carries my if this man carries microphone, this sickness is gone. Perception. And she touched him. And she was made whole. When she was made whole, that's when Jesus knew. He said, Peter, somebody touched me. Peter said, young Kolo, we are only 12 protocols. Thousands are pressing on you.
You say somebody taught you. Your problem is that you don't appreciate us. How can you say somebody taught you when everybody is pressing us and pressing on you? He said virtue before he said low voltage. Virtue. He said I didn't give it out. He left me. He didn't mention my name but I collected it. Without the consent of Jesus. He said he left me. Your problem is your perception. Elijah, God of Elijah, he was a wicked man. Elijah, you have seen a humble, fair, handsome, with man like Cookie, with humility, integrity, tenacity, Lord. audacity, fidelity, Lord. Elijah, with anointing to God fire, show me any member in this church. A man without attitude. Wicked man. Elijah. All this while saying fire came down. Who sent him? Soldiers were doing their work. King sent them Ahab. Go and call Elijah for me. Tell him to come. The captain came with 50 men. Oh, go and check scripture, please. I'm not, I'm not, it's not a fact. I know you pastors like to preach it like warfare. It was not warfare. Oh, man of God. Is that not a good address? Yes. Come down. The king make request of thee. He climb up. If I be a man of God, let fire. 50 men and one captain died. 51 men died. Attitude. Meanwhile, you open Papa's office without knocking. Another one came. Another captain and 50 men. When they waited for this one, came. They saw people, they were jumping. Dead body. Oh, man of God. The king made God say, say, wait. If I be. He didn't mention God. Let fire. You cannot stay in the church where Elijah is pastoring. You will die. I'm telling you the truth. Oh. This is the reason why you can come on Monday, sit down, call a number. When it's your turn, you see cookie. There are churches in this same town you cannot see the man of God in three months. You go feel from tire. There's a man of God I know. If you don't pay a room in his own hotel, you cannot see him. In this same port, I have preached three times for him. When you see a humble man, you are playing with him. They are talking, you are talking. Left fire. The tank captain came. Sir, now, 102 men are dead. Elijah does not marry. He has never married a wife. He does not have children. He doesn't have anything with family type. He doesn't know what it means to raise a child. He doesn't know what it means to go and talk bright. Um, thank you. Elijah never seen Liz before. All he knows is I want to prove I'm a man of God. 102 men dead. 102 families declared fatherless. 102 women declared widows. Elijah does not care. The dead man came, captain with 50 men. When he came and saw 102 on the ground, he knelt down. He said, please, the king is looking for you. Don't kill us for we are ordinary men like you. He followed. Why didn't you follow the first? He eventually followed the third. Why? Pride. Am I, am I, am I making any sense here? If you see Cookie, hold him well. If you see Cookie, love him well. He has oil. They are not perfect. But they save a perfect God. Can I pray for somebody? <laughs> on this saint day, Amen. not bad day, on this saint day, Amen. I speak to 120 of you. I receive under the sound of my 
voice and receive let the oil of your saint man Amen. settle the matters that matter you Amen. on this saint day Amen. the purpose why he was called Amen. the reason why he was sent Amen. to this earth Amen. as you celebrate this saint day Amen. then you become a celebrity Amen. Then you become a celebrity. Amen. Then you become a celebrity. Amen. You lift your hands and shout, I hear. I hear. Shout. Spread your two hands to me. Jesus. To ignore the messenger is to ignore the message. Yes, sir. To joke with the messenger is to jump with your destiny. Stretch your two hands.